The IDSX system is a novel antimicrobial susceptibility test to help combat antibiotic resistance. It is no longer acceptable that the second most commonly prescribed class of medicine still continues to be used in an empirical manner for an opinion in infectious diseases. There can be few diseases for which the prescriber commonly remains uncertain of the true nature of the disease at the time a drug is prescribed. Diagnostics that support good prescribing practice are needed as a matter of urgency in both community as well as hospital practice. Following is an example of Quick Culture's IDSX kit, in this case used to analyze a urine specimen. Quick Culture's IDSX kit comes complete with everything needed to perform an antimicrobial susceptibility test with next morning results. The pouch holding the IDSX dish is opened. The pouch is retained and used for the upcoming incubation step. The sterile round tip swab is dipped into the specimen sample. The swab is transferred to the first Mueller Hinton chamber where the sample is uniformly spread over the surface of the auger to form an eventual lawn of growth. The above process is then repeated for the other Mueller Hinton chamber. The sample is now added as a single streak to the Columbia CNA auger. The addition of sample is then repeated for the McConkie auger. The streaks are allowed to dry for one to two minutes and then an isolation is performed using the loop needle tool. Lightly run the loop end of the tool back and forth across the initial streak in the McConkie chamber. Repeat the spreading technique now for the Columbia CNA chamber. Rotate the tool now to the bent needle end, further dilute to isolate by passing the tool back and forth perpendicularly across the second spreadings in each of the two chambers. The next step of the method is the placement of antibiotic papers on the twin Mueller Hinton augers. The pair of applicators are removed from the inner envelope and untaped. The protective covers are removed from each of the two applicators. The applicators are now joined together and inserted into the twin Mueller Hinton chambers. The antibiotic paper release rod is now removed from its storage tube. Note the yellow stop to assure proper vertical placement. The rod is now used to dislodge the papers from the applicators to the auger surface. Empty applicators are now removed from the chambers. Papers are now gently seated onto the auger surfaces using the release rod.
The IDSX dish with antibiotic papers in place is nearly ready for incubation. The lid is now placed on the IDSX dish. The bottom of the dish is now labeled with necessary information. The dish is now returned to the pouch and incubated overnight at 35 degrees centigrade. Following a 17 hour incubation, the dish is removed from the incubator. Measuring transparencies provide a direct interpretive susceptibility reading right from the chambers. Transparencies are removed from the package and oriented for placement in the chambers. Low-tack paper strips are used to pick up and place the transparencies into the chambers. The incubated dish is removed from its pouch. The incubated dish reveals the different susceptibilities of this dish uropathogen to the 13 tested antibiotics. The right label transparency is now placed into the right Mueller Hinton chamber. Next, the left labeled transparency is placed. The IDSX kit allows a direct readout of antimicrobial interpretive susceptibility instead of having to manually measure zones and consult interpretive tables to obtain a result.